everyone and welcome to my new Dory Paint video! It's suddenly already December and it means it's time to start working on my winter special dolls. And today I'm going to start with the essence of winter itself. Today we're going to make an ice queen. I've never worked with this concept before here on my channel, so I'm really interested in making something completely different. A very cold doll that would look almost frozen, icy, I don't know, snowy and stuff like this. And for this kind of concept I decided to take this big Barbie doll hat. It's a fake Barbie doll, of course, it's not a real one, and I've chosen this doll because she doesn't have this very goofy and stupid typical Barbie doll smile. She has quite a normal face, and I think this normal face will work good with this cold and snowy and icy kind of a makeover. I've worked with this kind of doll before once, somewhere this summer, I think, I gave her more retro look. I've We'll put a picture of it somewhere here that you can compare. And today I'm going to go completely different direction and turn her into the Ice Queen. So, I think there is nothing else to say. I can take my scissors, I can take acetone and I can start the transformation. But before I begin, I just want to take five seconds of your time and ask you to subscribe to my channel because my statistic says that 79% of the people are watching to my videos without subscription. So please check if you're not one of them. So please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and let's start the transformation. Let's go! Here is the doll from clothes, you've seen the one like this already before, so now let's take pure acetone and remove her old face. Then I'm spraying her face first with two layers of white acrylic paint and then with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. When all the layers of the paint and the sealant are dry, I sketch her eyes and eyebrows using light grey watercolor pencil. I will make her eyebrows a little bit more arched, it will give her face more cold expression. And then I also sketch the nostrils. To blush her face I'm going to use mainly blue, grey and purple colors. And I will also need a touch of pink for some contrast on her cheeks. First I'm applying a layer of grey beige pastels, and this is approximately the only normal color I will use today. Then I'm applying a layer of light blue pastels. And I cannot forget about the body as well, of course. Then goes a layer of purple pastels on top, I want to make an effect of kind of frozen skin, very cold, bluish, icy looking. And then add a touch of cold pink pastels to the apples of her cheeks, like if she got some blush from frost. The next step is the eye makeup. I want to give her very cold blue and purple eye shadows. And her lips should look frozen as well.
apply the white pencil to the inner corner of the eyelids. And then I take a pink pencil and I apply it to the all transition areas where blue and white come together. Now her eye makeup is mostly done and I can start working on the eyes. I want to give her very light blue eyes that will look like some frozen water. For the eyebrows, I will also use a mix of blue, purple and pink pencils. Then I draw shadows on the white of her eyes and then with the pink pencil I draw the waterline. With a very sharp white pencil, I draw the smile. And with a very sharp black pencil, I draw the lashes and the eyeliner. Now I take silver soft pastels and I'm applying them approximately all over the face. And then with white acrylic paint I add more reflections to her eyes. Now her face is almost done and it's time to work on some accessories. I want to make a winter crown for her and first of all I'm making the basis of the crown using a 3D pen. And here it is, looks good I think. Now I want to take 5 short barbecue sticks and to glue them together. Then I take my 3D pen again and I just turn it around the sticks in different directions creating some messy structure. And then I'm attaching the thing to the headband also with the 3D pen. So 
Well, now let's decorate it. I've got here some Christmas decoration. Now I'm going to break it all down and attach to my crown. Sounds like some poetry. Then I'm spraying the crown with silver acrylic paint and while it's drying I'm going to style the doll's hair. I've made some sort of a messy bun for her and now I'm going to spray her hair with the silver acrylic paint as well. And it's very important to protect the face very good. Then I'm attaching the lashes and applying glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. Here I have different kinds of pretty sparkling silver glitter and I'm going to apply it to the middle of her eyelids and then also to the top of her forehead. Now let's put the crown on and spray it all with the snow spray to make it look even colder. And here I have another kind of snow, a mix of powder with glitter and this powder snow I'm going to glue to her body. It will make it look very icy and frozen. And I also add a couple of snowflakes to the ends of the lashes. And here is the end result. I think she looks for sure like an ice queen. And let's also look at her next to my previous version of the same doll. Which one do you like most? Write it in the comment. I think it's a good start to my holiday special repaints of this year. What do you think? And there will come even more the next weeks. So I've bought all kinds of fake snow and ready to let it snow all over here on my channel. And how are your Christmas preparations are going? Already buying gifts and installing Christmas trees probably? Honestly, the only thing that I'm preparing for Christmas is the dolls. So I hope you're doing a little bit better than me. The next week we are going to destroy and to recreate again a very special and expensive holidays edition doll. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss this makeover of the year. 
And of course, don't forget to put your likes under this video to support my channel if you like my content. And there are also still just 3 days left to enter my doll giveaway. And thank you for being with me today. Have a very nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.